This is the Toshiba Thrive Take Apart Repair Guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, we're going to need to use a safe open pry tool, a small Phillips screwdriver, and when replacing the touchscreen, we're going to use adhesive strips. To begin with the repair, we're going to remove the back cover. To do this, we're going to unlock the two sliding tabs, one located on the top here and on the side. Once these are unlocked, we can then use our safe open pry tool and begin prying the back cover away from the rest of the device. Use your safe open pry tool on any location and just begin releasing some of the clips holding in place. Once you get along the sides here, you should be able to slide it along quite easily and just release the clips. Be careful not to dig the pry tool too deep because you don't want to damage any of the internal components. Once you have the majority of the clips released, you will then be able to safely remove the back cover and just put that to the side. From here, we're just want, going to want to remove the power supply or the battery. To do this, we just need to unlock both the tabs located here. And then just use the safe home pry tool or your thumb just to lift out the battery and set it aside. Now we're just going to want to remove the CMOS battery, which is located down here in the bottom right. It's going to be held in place with just a little bit of adhesive, and then it's just going to be a socket connector. So use your safe open pry tool, gently lift that out, make sure you don't damage that connection. Now we're just going to use your safe open pry tool and gently peel back this plastic tape, which is covering one connection located right here. I'm just going to lift up the adhesive, holding the actual flex cable to the metal housing, and then just slide it out of its socket. It should come out quite easily. and we're going to remove this other socket connector right up here and peel back the adhesive tape holding it to the metal frame. With this connection now released we're now going to remove the 14 small Phillips screws which are located on the outside perimeter of the rear housing. All these screws are the same size, so you can just put them together in a pile and not have to worry about them getting mixed up. Now that we have all the screws removed, we can just use our safe home pry tool and release this adhesive tape, which is connected to the back housing. And from here, we can start using our pry tool and gently releasing all the clips and the seam right here. So I'm going to work our way around all four edges. You're not going to want to actually remove the back housing as it's still going to be connected by a flex cable. Just release each clip until you can gently flip it over and release the connection. Now that we got these final clips released, we're just going to release the flex cable right here, which is just held in place with a little bit of adhesive. And now flip it over, being very careful as it's still connected by one jaw connector. We're just going to lift up on the black tab and slide out the flex cable. And as you can see, the motherboard and many other internal components are located right here on the back side of this back housing. We're just going to put that to the side as we're focused on removing the screens. 
Now we're going to use our small Phillips screwdriver to remove the seven small Phillips screws located here. Take note that there are more small Phillips screws around this perimeter, but that is specifically for removing the LCD screen from the LCD frame, or this metal frame right here. We're just going to focus on removing the touch screen, so we're just going to disregard those screws at this time. Once we have all the screws removed, we're going to release this camera connector right here and gently lift up on the LCD frame and pull up the small circuit board for the camera. We can then just put that to the side until we assembly. Now that all the screws are removed, we just have some adhesive tape which is holding the LCD frame onto the front housing with the touchscreen, so we're just going to release all that tape. Once we have all the tape released right here, we can then gently lift up on the LCD screen and LCD metal frame. This should pop up the LCD screen, which can then be removed. If you are replacing the LCD screen, you'll just need to remove the small Phillips screws located around the outside edges there and remove it from the frame. Since we're focused on the touch screen here, since it's cracked, we're just going to remove it from the front housing. To do that, we're going to use a heat gun or a hair dryer and just use a medium setting. And just work our way along the outside edges here, just releasing all the adhesive, which is holding the touch screen to the front frame. You're going to want to keep constant movement and not stay in one location for too long. The Thrive Doves have a very thin front housing, so you'll need to be very careful not to overheat it. You just want to heat up that heat for just a little bit, and then use a safe open pry tool to begin releasing it. To start, we're just going to add some pressure here on the back side, which should give us enough lift to get in with our pry tool. As you can tell, especially with the shattered screen, that the front housing is very malleable. So you just want to make sure not to crack it or anything like that. So just use gentle pressure. Be sure always to reheat the adhesive if it's not cooperating. As you can see here, we're damaging even further as we're releasing the adhesive. But we're just focused on getting underneath that adhesive and lifting it up with the touch screen. That way we don't have a big old mess of adhesive underneath on the frame. Apply a little bit more heat here and continue working our way around. As you can tell, once you get underneath that adhesive, it should come up quite easily. Just keep on working your way around all four corners. And I'm just going to add a little bit more heat in this bottom corner here with this flex cable. From here, we almost have all the adhesive released. There we have it. Front frame is now removed from your touchscreen, so now you can replace the touchscreen digitizer on your Toshiba Thrive. 
Be sure to check out repairsuniverse.com where you'll find all the replacement screens and tools used in this video. Also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.